Okay. I think I need to go on a rant. Small one. Small one. But it might take a long time. <laughs> Okay, as you know, I submitted a video to the CNN YouTube debate, and it didn't get picked, but I like that face. It didn't get picked, but I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. Um, but I, I kinda, I had some problems with, not necessarily the videos that did get picked, the responses that were given by the candidates to some of the videos that were picked. Um, the people who were on the debate were, if I can get to YouTube quick enough so that it doesn't look like I'm slacking on my videos, YouTube.com, CNN YouTube debate, watch it now. Alright, yeah, and you guys should watch this, because if you're not, then you're really stupid. The reason this is a big thing for me is because this is the first year that I'm able to vote, and, uh, well, it will be, and it's just really important yeah so I'm trying to be as well informed and as positive and all-knowing as I can so anyway let's go down the list of the candidates um, Rudy Giuliani uh, when I became mayor of New York City things were out of control I have lowered taxes I reduced New York the City New York City New York City more accountable and New York City when I became mayor of New York City things New York City. That's all he talks about. New York City. Oh, I was mayor of New York City. Guess what? Oh, oh, oh. New York City. Blah, blah, blah. Why are you resting your whole campaign on being mayor? Because it may be New York City, but the little peninsula that I live on is about four to five times bigger than that little city. So uh, how do you expect to lead an entire nation? Like, really? I love his stance on gun laws, but... Um, yeah. So, that's Giuliani, my take. McCain, I've loved McCain since the last election, or maybe the one before it. I love McCain, and uh, I want him as a finalist. But maybe, Mr. McCain, you shouldn't rest your, your stuff on religion. And I noticed this about Huckabee, too. He brought religion into the limelight at once, at one point, and uh, people might be atheists. Think about that. And they might not want to be like, oh, God, oh, God, 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 God. So, and that brings me to Huckabee, too. He rests everything on the fact that he's a minister. And as a minister, you're trained to be loving and accepting and blah, blah, blah. There's people out there that look down upon ministers because then they believe that the Bible is manipulated and all this stuff. But he's well-spoken and he's thoughtful. So... That's major pluses. Um, Tancredo? Who the hell is this guy? Honestly. I, I don't even... Did he answer anything? Really. Honestly. Honestly. Hunter. I liked his stance on gun laws, too. And he is the one that built the border fence. A fence here. A road going here. There's another fence here between Mexico and... Uh, the San Francisco area, I do believe. No. Anyway, he built a fence between uh, Mexico and California, and it was the number one trafficking area for illegals and for drugs. And I think if he can do that and reduce all of that, then he's good. I kind of like him. Fred Thompson. What the hell? In case you haven't realized, there's a war. And it's costing us $100 billion a year. $100 billion a year. This is a quote. I wrote this down verbatim. Mr. Fred Thompson said, Roe versus Wade being overturned should be our number one priority. Number one focus, I should say. Excuse me. Roe versus Wade being overturned should be our number one focus right now. Gas prices are going up over $100 a barrel. There's a war in Iraq, $100 billion a year. B, B for billion. And there's all these economic things, and Roe versus Wade is our number one concern. I'm sorry, but 
I don't agree with that. Mr. Giuliani got a question about uh, why African Americans, blacks, are not voting for him, and they're voting mostly Democrat. They're not voting in general for the Republican. And Giuliani, while talking about them, he mentioned Harlem a lot, and he mentioned many slums and things that aren't really, they may come to mind for many people when you think African American. I'm not going to say that's not true, because it is. Many people think of the slums and projects when you say African American, which is sad, but it's true. But he didn't need to go on the national debate and say that blacks didn't vote for him because they were worthless, less than, and lowlifes were some of the phrases that he used. So, yeah, bad move. Ron Paul, this guy scares me. Like, legit scares me. I believe his campaign is a cult. I'm just gonna say that. I believe his campaign is cult-like. He was confronted about conspiracy theories, and uh, he said they're not conspiracy theories, they are conspiracy theologies. Okay. Uh, he said they're not really conspiracy theories because they're already being paid for. We're already going forward with them. Well, there are still conspiracies. Sorry. Well, on a brighter note about this debate, I'm going to do a commercial review. Um, there weren't many different commercials. There were only three commercial breaks, which thank you, YouTube, and thank you, CNN, for only doing three commercial breaks in a two-hour show. I know how much that must have cost you. Um... There were so many coal commercials. Coal, 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 coal. The clean energy. All right, if you want. Um, <laughs> Coors, Coors Brewing Company on kids not drinking uh, is more backwards than some of the candidates, honestly. Uh, don't drink kids, but have a Coors. Um... I love the Aquos commercials, the ones with the TVs and they're all moving and stuff. Oh my god. Keep in mind I'm a designer, so I'm always looking at stuff like that. Um, and the T-Row Price commercials with all the vector leaves and stuff. It was really cool. Um, and finally, my last point. My last point. <sighs> Chuck Norris was in the audience, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go around the class, but Chuck Norris was in the audience. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That is my stance on everything that happened with the CNN YouTube Republican debate November 28th, 2007, and I think that's it. All right, so leave me comments, leave me messages, leave me responses, leave me posts, leave me hate mail. I don't care. More stuff for me to do. All right, talk to you later. By the way, Cape Cod Tech, this cream cheese sucks. It smells horrible. That's all.